No. <laughs> I really like no. discretion. You would have liked Crumble C discretion, more than... Discretion, I think, is One closest to Shadow Shadow. Uh, okay, so it's yeah, easier. Discretion yeah. And my roommate went lower. And their food is good. I think yeah. that's my favorite. Welcome to the event, Santa Cruz Radio Show on KSQD Santa Cruz 90.7. I have the Art Cave slash Cave Dwellers. What? <laughs> Wait, actually, i got to ask this. Okay, first, introduce yourself. Start off with Rachel. Okay, so my name is Rachel Barnes of Human Shaped Animal Art. I'm Danielle Peters, a multimedia artist. I am Lee Erickson, an <coughs> artist. <laughs> uh, I'm Jordan Lehman, and I own and operate Idea Fab Labs, Santa Cruz. Okay, so this collective here and there's there's two more who's who's not here today eliza paul and olivia barney cool okay and they're, so they're also local artists in town right mm -hmm. so you you two the two people in the middle lee and dana they started the art cave two years ago yeah it was a yeah, about year and a half or so kind of a, officially two years ago yeah but it was kind of a. um it, it was in the works for a while. Yeah. <laughs> so you're in the Wrigley Building. Mm -hmm. You have a studio there. What was the initial concept of starting the art cave? Take it away. <laughs> oh, um, I don't know. I think there was just like this inner I love calling. These like, there. Everybody's pointing. <laughs> you, you, talk, you, you talk. You that's talk. That's the beauty of having so many people here. It's great. <laughs> um, but we basically just wanted to. Well, first of all, Dan and I knew that there were an amazing amount of artists in the Santa Cruz community, but we just hadn't met a lot of them in person. And so we had this great little studio space, our initial, our first one in the Wrigley building, that was a lot smaller than the one we have now. And we just kind of wanted to open our doors to other artists and just kind of started experimenting and, and hosting little gallery or shows as if we were a gallery. And then next a thing you know, amount of shows. yeah, you like it was like one shows month every sometime. single month. Yeah. We just kind of like hit the ground running with them. and. And yeah, it kind of just picked up um, like attention from a lot of other artists and got a bigger space. Yeah. You, you were the, was it the wild card of the year for the, yeah. the next year's last year? <laughs> yes. Which is happening March 20th. Go to eventsantacruz.com to find out more information. <laughs> Nominations are open right now for one more week. Um, so it's funny, Jordan and Rachel were actually oh, introduced yeah, yeah. us, and now they're part of the art cave. So that that's... is cool. <laughs> really? Wait, they they introduced you yeah. to? Yeah, no, no, no. Had, like uh, that super long running speech that like. Oh, <laughs> yeah, at the next season, they were the ones who introduced us. We had a really long us. speech, and you had to drag us off stage. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I think everyone yeah. had a really long speech. Sorry, so off stage. Yeah, everybody, everybody got dragged off. <laughs> no, yeah, everybody has to be. But I, I figured out a way to correct that this year. <laughs> Not have YouTube. No, just no. <laughs> yeah. So, okay, you two started the arcade, and then, and I feel like in a way, this is so naturally happened that you've expanded the the, the core group. How did that happen? Uh, well, Jordan and Rachel have always kind of been been around. Uh, Jordan's yeah. at Idea Fab Labs, which is right next to the art cave, so we're always kind of helping each other out with um, building the building wide events that have been going on. So this is just a way to make it more official and mm -hmm. um, yeah, it's yeah. just been a super organic collaborative effort from everybody and. Like yeah, you're already from the we're outside. We're just putting like a title on it now. I feel like <laughs> yeah, like, exactly. Like these guys have been so helpful to us so far. Now we're just making them pay rent. <laughs> <laughs> so. Smart, smart. Um, <laughs> the free ride is over. Yeah. <laughs> so it's working out nice. <laughs> no, but it's true. From like um, an outside view, it mm -hmm. did seem like you four have been working together. And I, I sure. wish I had a face to the other two. But um, but yeah, you four definitely have like already been together all this time mm -hmm. so no I think it worked yeah. so is it still the art cave or is it actually the cave dwellers like <laughs> no, or is that is it's cave dwellers the just cave. this weekend yeah and this, just week, the name this of the Friday show. yeah we just needed a fun name for yeah it was show. so good at what names so <laughs> what what is this Friday what's happening it is the debut of uh, six artists. Jordan, do you want to? Yeah, the Jordan. Yeah. We'll, <laughs> but let's Jordan see. Jordan talk. The big uh, debut. I think we're figuring it out as we go. For sure. <laughs> um, but Damn. we all make art. Um, Eliza's a photographer. Um, Olivia makes really cool abstract art using the glue. She's a esthetician, and oh, she yeah, makes mm -hmm. art out of, out of the oh, like no. glue <laughs> from the lash extensions that she installs. It's pretty that clever. Crazy. It's really abstract and fun. And then she uses Photoshop to kind of embellish them, which is really cool. And um, Lee's a painter. 
Uh, Dana does paper arts and multimedia stuff. Um, Rachel's also doing multimedia painting, laser cutting, and stuff like that. And I make geometric lantern sculptures um, and also some snarky <laughs> signage for my Burning Man camp. So I <laughs> put that up on the wall sometimes. Jordan, can I ask you real fast? So you have the Fab Lab. How did that start? It didn't start here. Right. Uh, no, it didn't start here. It started up in Chico. Yeah. And my business partner, Aaron Banwell, is from here. Okay. And so he made the decision to expand to here, and then I ended up coming down. Uh, he's got kids, so it's like sort yeah. of prohibitive for him to be living here and raising his children. Um, so I came down to run the space here. So what, um, what happens at the Fab Lab? Uh, all sorts of things, all the time. Um, it's a creative community space. It's like a gym for creative tools. So okay. people come in and pay a monthly fee like a gym and they get trained on the tools they want to use. Laser cutters, 3D printers, wood shop and CNC machines. We've got an electronic zone, jewelry space and more. And so people are doing artwork, design prototypes, fixing stuff. Um, some people just come and it's their it's their community, so they come and we have like a D and D game that happens. I saw that, <laughs> yeah. um, which is actually going to inform some art coming up. It's going to be really fun. Oh wow! Um, and so the girls um, are always around. Um, some of them pay for memberships too, and they come in, borrow drills. And, <laughs> uh, it's really nice. Uh, that was all you're saying. Yeah. Tape measures and <laughs> things like that. Ladders, yes, step ladders. All Take a little off the rent. Return yeah. everything. You know? Uh, usually the things get returned, but I can come and get them now because I'm the the door. <laughs> oh, uh, but it just, works. between the Fab Lab and all the things that are happening there that is art-based and um, the creative shows that the girls have been putting on for so long, it kind of makes sense for us to support them somewhat financially um, and participate and work together, communicate more in order to like give a better offering to to the art shows that we, we plan and that corner of the Wrigley Building is really awesome. Yeah, you know, I, I won't hold it against you, but I must admit I was a little bummed that I wasn't the seventh person. <laughs> <laughs> we'll keep it in mind. <laughs> just because I don't ha I don't do art, I don't know. You just got to be around lingering more. You don't come around do. enough. Yeah. Like us, Rachel and I are always just, just there. You know, hey. When did we do the art expo last year? What, what was it like? May. 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 May? That, yeah. Yeah, we got to start getting on that. Rained. I guess. Yeah. In May. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, I'm gonna put Rachel on the spot. Rachel, what are you up to yeah. recently besides um, joining this collaborative and getting on the mic? Yeah, so me and Dana have been collaborating a lot. Oh really? And yes, yeah, so we'll have two pieces at the show on Friday. Okay. Um I've been working on some standalone murals, meaning that they're done in multiple pieces. Um, on wood and then put onto the wall instead of painting directly onto the wall. Cool. Um yeah, and so I, I'm a member at the Fab Lab as well, so that kind of made this whole process possible. Um, yeah, and basically it seems like 2020 we've kind of just been brainstorming about what we want this year to look like for the art cave and what it means for all of us to be in this space together and what we can offer for each other and for the community. So So what does that look like? What is what is this year? What's going to happen? Are you going to be doing one event a month? Are you gonna, you know, is it more than just the first Friday? Like what does 2020 look like for you six? Yeah, so other than just first Friday, we wanna kind of, um, we wanna expand from that and make it, you know, have more events that aren't just focused all on the same day that all the other art events yeah, are that's focused a good point. on. Um, especially because we want all of our artist friends to be able to come <laughs> as well. Uh, and, it's, you know, it's just becoming more than, um, you know, we've expanded so much that we can't be contained to just First Friday. Anymore. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, we were really wanting to like open it up to the community more. And I would really love to see uh, some larger than life installations and collaborations and just have it be like a playground and a exploration spot for creatives and for um, Santa Cruz to be able to witness that because there's so many talented people here. There are a few, <laughs> yeah, for sure. A Th that's the problem with our town, or the not the problem, is that there's so many amazing, talented people, whether it's mm -hmm. art, musicians, just creatives. It's mm -hmm. it's pretty amazing what we have. I was just talking to somebody, it's like, okay, I need to find some more musicians for a couple of my events. And 
she gave me like a list of like eight of them and it's like and I started listening listening to them. I was like wait a minute every single one of these is amazing like mm -hmm. how did I not even know about right these? yeah, yeah. Crazy. so you super start cool bringing all the webs together into one yeah we're all connected so <laughs> yeah it's even funny our next guest is like connected to like you know I don't know at least 10 different people I know that I've worked with. It's like, why don't I know you? I should have known you before, <laughs> but anyway. Okay, so real quickly, um, just to recap, this Friday at the Wrigley Building at the Art Cave, um, it's gonna be, what's it, what's it called again? Cave what? Dweller Debut. Quick, Cave <laughs> Dweller Debut. Okay, and what time does it start? Five o'clock. Five o'clock, and is there like, is there a website or some place that people find more information? Yeah, the yeah. Art Cave SC for Santa Cruz dot com, <laughs> and we have all of our events listed there. We also have a Facebook and Instagram. What's uh, your Instagram? Uh, Instagram is also the Art Cave SC, mm -hmm. and uh, Facebook is the Art Cave. Okay, thank you so much. I'll let Jordan, he has an appointment to go to besides going to Shanty Shack. I don't know, I was really confused about which one it was. But These days you can do both. <laughs> do you know most of my appointments are at tap rooms? I feel, yeah. They used to be at like coffee places, but then like, you know, where would you rather have a meeting? Like over a beer or coffee? When someone's stressed? Or Depends someone... on what time of the day. No, it doesn't. Oh. <laughs> See this gut? <laughs> Well, yeah. Matt, I think we would look forward to working with you this year as well. So as things formulate, let's stay on the same page so that we can do something fun again, like the art expo. Or yeah, that's awesome. we're yeah, gonna do that. And then Jordan also <laughs> said he would help me with my camera. So <laughs> I, I shoot everything in 4K, and it takes me like eight to nine hours to like upload to YouTube. So <laughs> gonna help you. See things you learn at the Fab Lab. You can. <laughs> uh, okay, I cover all the points. So, Do you want yeah. your incubator oh, yeah, the program? Incubator. Oh, oh yeah, I want to hear about the incubator. There was the one thing that we, it's sort of part of how Idea Fabulous will be involved with our cave is that we have this residency program. We okay. call it the Idea Fab Labs Tech Art Incubator Program. And it's a residency. People come in uh, with some skill already. We crash course them in digital fabrication, laser cutting. It might be whatever that makes sense for what they're doing. Uh, we've had people casting 3D prints and stuff. And so what we wanted to do was get the art cave involved in that as a uh, support network, as a, a resource along with, um, you know, renting one of the studio spaces so then the, uh, the resident artists would have access to that space. Cool. And be so able to show their work on our gallery. Right, so I already have my own space inside of the Fab Lab, so I was gonna let whatever person is taking that residency program have access to uh, more of a private space with the art cave. And then they would be putting together an entire body of work, and then we would show that work as part of the program for this year. Cool. So in how, the future. Do, how do people find out about that or, or apply? Okay. Uh, uh, proposals can be... Yeah, they could send proposals to info at the Art Cave or... Uh, yeah, um, Santa Cruz at ideafablabs.com. There will be a web page put together as a, an official application. Okay. I'm still working on doing that uh, as we put together kind of, we're augmenting this residency program as it moves sort of over into the arcade. So maybe when you have that official, you have the website up, um, come back, we'll do an interview, and then we'll do a whole <laughs> post on it and we'll shoot it out to the world. Um, I had a newsletter came out today and I think more people clicked on your event than like any other Whoa. event. So cool. uh, thanks everyone. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, you're artsy. It's pretty. It's good of color. Yeah. Rachel was in the picture, so you know it all works. Yeah. I think. Um, so, thanks, bud. Yeah. If you want to learn more about the art cave, go to the art cave sc okay. com. And if you want to learn more about Idea Fab Labs, it's ideafablabs com. And then we're the Santa Cruz branch. So. Awesome. Like cool. Way. Well, thank you so much for being on the show. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Let's play a little bit of music.